to another vlog so today i'm going to the hospital and this is uh, the first time in this this will be the first ward of 2022 currently i'm just filling this and even more importantly for my breakfast i'm having oranges and <coughs> sorry grapes and orange <coughs> i'm so sorry for my bad throat so i'm just refilling this one because having a spray is good i can spray my uh, belongings uh, because obviously we are going to the hospital and this is just about to get over this will be my first sanitizer that will be uh, getting over i lose them before they even reach half this is also less now so i don't know what ward we will be getting today uh, but i originally thought that we would be going to the mrd like i would go to the mrd to get specific cases about mrd i told you in one of my previous vlogs so but that is not happening maybe because i just got to know yesterday that mrd also had some cases of omicron i guess so yeah that is it the entire hospital is actually filled with covid cases there are so so many covid and omicron cases and there is a different wing obviously for those patients but uh, you know the day-to-day -day patients that come in and come out they are obviously not checked so that what makes hospital more risky but whatever it is i am sure that hospital has its own surprises today so that is it right now i'll just pack my bag and then i'll head out and go to the clinic people haven't come yet because as i said earlier that there are loads and loads of cases here in the hospital so yeah that is why we are planning that we will visit each and every ward today so let's see what happens and at last we would also be going to the mrd so wish us luck and hope to get new and amazing cases <laughs> Hi guys, so we are going to the cancer ward right now. Do you get my daughter? So we went to the chemo daycare right now and we got to know that there are no patients right now. The patients will be coming at 10 or after 10 and there are only 22 patients today. So right now we are going to the MRD.
came out of the MRD and we got some amazing cases. Uh, I got dengue face migraine and then I got septic shock, hemorrhagic shock and some other cases like that. So right now we are heading to the dialysis ward and I will see you after that. Hi guys, so I'm already done with today's ward rounds and we also went to the MRD where we got pretty much amazing cases. Uh, we later went to the chemotherapy center again but there were only two patients so we did not get any uh, cancer files from the chemotherapy ward. But from the MRD I got acute leukemia and then dengue, CHF and uh, UTI with uh, hypertensive emergency. Hi guys, so it is right now Wednesday night and I am just so nervous about tomorrow. Uh, there are loads and loads of COVID cases at our hospital. The medical students there, uh, they are not allowed to go to the hospital. Like first, second year, I guess, or third year, I don't know. But I have come to know that the medical students uh, at the medical college there, uh, they are not allowed to go to the hospital because it uh, the hospital is literally overflowing with COVID and, om and Omicron cases and whatever cases there are from baroda also there was a patient of omicron who is admitted to the hospital obviously we are not going to that wing the wing for omicron and covid cases is <clears throat> is kind of at the outskirts of the hospital but uh, the patients who come in day in and day out you know for opd and except for opd they are not obviously tested for covid right so it is risky that way and I thought that uh, if I go tomorrow, I'll probably go to the MRD. Now, in one of my videos, I told you about what MRD is. So, <clears throat> I thought about that but then <laughs> just today I came to know that there are, I guess, Omicron cases in the MRD also. Uh, but the thing is, if tomorrow I'm going, I would definitely go to MRD and it's not that I want to take my risks or something like that but like, the risks are equal if I stay in the ward or if I go to the MRD, you know, in ward also there is not just the patient but uh, the family members and other care caretakers also visit them. So the risk is equalized whether I go to MRD or stay in the ward. Obviously, I would make the ward round and then I would go to MRD. Just the thing is that I'm very, very nervous. There are two, uh, two things which I'm confused about. Uh, like I have contracted COVID earlier and I've had my... Uh, both both the vaccines okay so now there are two theories one thing is that i kind of feel good that because i've contracted covid early i kind of have more uh, antibodies more resistance and i can uh, you know analyze my symptoms and the second theory is that uh, <clears throat> many are saying that those who have got covid earlier they are, they are more prone this time to omicron and to covid so it there are so many things going on in my mind right now and also it is so cold so i'm afraid about the journey tomorrow from home to the hospital because it gets really cold in the morning yeah so i just wanted to tell you that i'm feeling very 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 nervous about tomorrow's hospital visit i was not going to go like i asked my grandparents about what i should do and they were like go uh, see whatever happens so yeah that is the only reason that i'm going like i was 50 50 percent jana and jana kuch bhi chalta uh, attendance to him, it has problem. <clears throat> so, yeah, I guess I'll meet you guys tomorrow and let's see what surprises the hospital holds for us. That is the most, you know, <clears throat> uh, the one thing that we look forward whenever going to hospital is that the kind of patients we'll meet today, the kind of cases we'll get today, and it's not just the case. Like, psoriasis, bohat sar logo ko hota hai. But, each and every patient of psoriasis is different. Each and every patient of psoriasis uh, kind of, you feel them in a different way because it's not just the stage of psoriasis or whatever, but it's uh, 
I told you in one of my earlier vlogs, right? It is not just the disease that the patient is suffering from. So yeah, that is it. And fingers crossed for tomorrow. Bye-bye.